Hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Pamela and on today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all my entire Hoya collection. I know! Oh my gosh! When I think about my Hoya collection, I'm like, Pam, <laughs> cha -ching, cha -ching. flush, flush, cha -ching, cha -ching. flush, flush, cha -ching, cha -ching. flush, flush. That's all I think about when I think about my Hoya collection. Literally money getting flushed down the toilet. Not in a bad way, but also in a sad way. So if you're interested in seeing my collection, not just any collection, my Hoya collection, then keep on watching. So welcome back everyone. Alright. I think in general between Hoyas and Philodendrons, I have about I have about equal amount. I have quite a lot of Hoyas. When I'm looking down at my space right now, and also behind me, I'm like, geez girl, where you get this money from to be buying plants like that? But then I also realized, oh, wait, you were able to grow this collection not only via purchasing, via trades, and so when I film videos like these, when I'm showing you my collections, it's really not to show off, it's really not to tell people, hey, go out and purchase these plants. It's more to just display like, hey, I acquired this, this way, that way, I just have these plants in my collection. So this is one tip I do want to give everyone who is watching this. Try your best to make friends in the community and also acquire plants via trading because the way the market is right now, it's expensive to grow your collection and I know everyone's like, oh I want this plant, I want this plant, let me go out and buy this plant. But then when you look at the price of the plant, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. So this is not to tell anyone to go go out and buy them. But if you do want to go and get them, try to find a more affordable way to do that. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and show you my very first Hoya ever in my collection. So this beautiful Hoya Carnosa Compacta, just green, is my very, very first Hoya that I ever purchased. I absolutely love this plant so much. I did actually purchase this at Home Depot, I believe, and it was affordable. It was very affordable, this entire pot. It was a smaller at the time I purchased it, but it also had a stowaway plant, which is this, I believe, a tiger fern. I love this plant so much. This is the only fern I do own in my collection. And the two actually cohabitate really, really well. This particular pot, I do have to water it a little bit, you know, more than another one I'm going to show you because the fern is a plant that absorbs water more often, but they do not fight in the pot. I have just so much new growth, as you can see. Just so much new growth is happening. I do want to mention that compactas are more of a winter grower so if you're like oh in the summer this hasn't grown at all it's okay keep an eye they do like to grow more in the winter at least for me I have noticed and do your own research you know see how the plants are gonna do in your area but this is the first Hoya in my collection the remainder of these are in no particular order because I don't remember when or what I purchased before when. So the next Hoya I'm going to show you is my second Hoya Carnosa Compacta. I have multiples of this plant. I absolutely love this plant. If you're not new to my channel, then you would know that Hoya Carnosa Compactos are my favorite Hoyas in general. They are beautiful. I love how unique the foliage is. It's very crunchy, very lettucey. This plant makes me want to be healthy, okay? <laughs> Looking at this, it makes me want to go and eat a salad. So, I absolutely love it. And the Hoya Carnosas, Hoyas in general, they flower. Some are more fragrant than others. Some don't have fragrance. So... Do keep that in mind. These plants are just wonderful. They're really easy to care for. Look at this baby new growth right here. So freaking cute. So this is the next one in my collection. The next Hoya in my collection is actually this Hoya, my goodness, I believe. 
I purchased it as a DS70. This is not the DS70. I'm gonna put the correct name down here. Gasp. But this one, it's cute. It's cute. This plant has grown so much for me. This plant I find is such a resilient plant. It literally lives directly above my radiator and it gets as hot air as hot air can be provided to it. It survives. In the summertime, this baby gets really sun stress. It gets a deep dark purple. I'll show you in another plant, but it gets really deep dark purple and it also can get sun bleached too if it's unhappy. So one side of it, this side is actually just like touching and facing the window that this lives at. It's a little bit just sunburnt, but it's okay. But this is the next Hoya in my cup. So the next Hoya I'm going to show you is my Hoya Weedii. Like I mentioned, this one gets such a beautiful sunstress. Look how beautiful this sunstress. It gets this deep, dark, just like violet plum eggplant. Oh, I absolutely love this Hoya. So my Hoya Weedii, really easy going. I have uh, three varieties of this plant, so... I'll show you the next. So this is my Hoya Weedii Lori Lin. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Everyone has a Hoya that's named after them, and this is my Hoya that's named after me. Um, so I got me a Hoya Lori Lin Weedii. I'm going to show you pretty much my favorite Hoya ever of all time, ever, ever, ever. Well, my second favorite Hoya of all time, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it is my Hoya Polyneura Broguette. As you can see, this vine is doing a little, I don't know what it wants to do, but the rest of them are just so beautiful. I plan on actually chopping and propping this entire thing. I'm doing a perlite prop box experiment, so this is going to be one of the ones that is going to get chopped and propped in the prop box. So keep an eye out for that future video. But this is my Hoya Polyneuro Broguet. You know your girl loves Hoya Compactas, right? Because that's what I started the video off with. I had to get a Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Vergata, this is the Vergalis. The Vergalis is the one that has the green interior and the white border ring. I absolutely geek over this plant so much. I'm so happy. I got it because originally to get this plant I went through such <laughs> an interesting ordeal okay I have an entire series of the treachery the perils of my Carnosa Compacta Variegata but this is my beauty this one was actually gifted to me by an amazing kind individual from Facebook actually from one of the Facebook plant groups she was so kind so thank you so much if you are watching um, in the last year and a half, about a year and a few months, it's grown quite a bit. So this is the next one. This is the Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegata Mauna Loa. The Mauna Loa, in contrast to the Vergalis, has the white interior and the green bordering. So they are all variegated, but in different forms. I absolutely geeked over this. So this particular pot I acquired via one purchase and two trade. I purchased the two smaller strands from an individual on Facebook and then also on another Facebook page I traded another Hoya cutting for some of the Mauna Loa. So instead of me spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars to acquire this plant I paid you know a little bit of money and then the rest was essentially free aside from shipping because I just traded the plant so that's another awesome tip you can find people on Facebook you can find people on Instagram you can find people on YouTube who are willing to trade for something of equal value hey salty pecans are you still watching this video are you enjoying my Hoya collection go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it share it right now before you even continue okay give this video a thumbs up share it like comment let me know do you have any of the Hoyas that I've mentioned or any of the Hoyas that I'm going to mention are there any Hoyas that I should keep an eye out for and <laughs> let's get back into the video the last Hoya Cardosa compact I'm gonna show you is this one so I'm not too sure what was going on with this pot because all of the sudden 
just this entire strand decided to system malfunction so I'm letting it do its thing I'm not pressed okay but most likely I'm just gonna remove this one from this pot because it is quite large for just one singular strand now this will retain more moisture than the plant is able to absorb which could in turn just cause a bit of root rot which we are not trying to do so this is the next Hoya Carnosa compacta in my collection speaking of Hoya Carnosas this is my Hoya Carnosa gosh what is this one the Crimson Princess this was my first Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess and it has taken maybe two years for me to see no growth on this plant oddly enough um, but where there's a will there's a way it pushed out all of this just thick new growth which I'm so happy and I love so much so this baby is really thirsty she's really thirsty she's really dry so she is gonna get water the last fraud of a carnosa compacta so this next plant is actually not a compacta but it resembles the compacta so much that I had to have it in my collection and also I do want to point out this is the most expensive plant I have ever purchased and I will never ever purchase a plant for this much money ever again um, I did it because I wanted it and in order for me to the way the market is acquire this plant I would end up paying more for it so I was okay with the decision I made because I know what I want and this is the Hoya Swiffer's Tail this is a hybrid Hoya and it was created by Rick it's named after his cat Swiffer it resembles again the Carnosa so much except the fact that it is a hybrid of the Hoya Fungii and the Hoya Motoski and if you do compare the two as you can see, this is a fully mature compacta, and this is the Swiffer's tail. This is just like three, four times just the size of this plant, okay? This is why I wanted it. I love it, and I'm okay with spending it, but not to keep my collection. So this is actually my Hoya, gosh, what is this one called? Obovada. Um, this plant was larger. I received the cutting I was actually gifted this plant by the same individual who gifted me this and she also gifted me another one that's inside of my Hoya cage back there which I'll show you all very soon but Jackie is her name <laughs> I don't want to like say her name out loud but she gifted this to me it was larger it rooted and then I completely forgot about it it rotted and I was able to save this and it's gone ahead and just given me this three leaves since it's rooted so i'm happy about that hoya obovada i'm not too sure if i shoot this hoya yet but if i have not then this is another one of my hoya carnosa compactas i did say i have a lot of these i love these so much this one was another gifted one from another awesome individual from facebook she sent me this during my whole Carnosa ordeal and I'm super grateful and thankful about that. It's beautiful. It's pushing out new growth which I'm so happy about because it's been quite a long time that this thing was just not doing anything and I was like, are you okay? You Gucci? And it was just like, nah, yeah, you know, I was just doing that. You know, I had to get it myself established in your home. So that is it. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am so exhausted. I'm almost done. We're almost done with my Hoya collection. Oh my gosh. This next Hoya is actually a Hoya Illigorium. I purchased this one from an online plant shop. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Beautiful. It's pushing out so much new growth. Very happy about that. This is one of my favorite Hoyas, and it is my Hoya Rotunda Flora. I absolutely love this plant. I accidentally killed another one of my pots a couple of years ago following stupid online plant care tips and since then never again but this is the Hoya Rotunda Flora. I love this sort of like boxy cubish rectangular leaves. It's so beautiful. I cannot wait for my Hoyas to flower. None of them have flowered yet but there's hope okay. 
Tinkerbell, you just gotta believe. This is my Hoya Acute White Variegata. Is that what it is? My Hoya Acute Variegata. I got this one from eBay. Beautiful, love it. This is my Hoya Australis. This one was a bonus cutting from when I purchased my Hoya Polyneuro Broguette. The seller actually gifted me this cutting and I was like, <gasps> I was not expecting that. Thank you so much for ever grateful. It's been giving me new growth. Who isn't happy about new growth? I don't know. I don't know. This next Hoya is actually my Hoya Macrophylla um, Splash, I think. I actually don't remember exactly which Hoya this is, but it's beautiful and I have a trellis on this beautiful pot that, oh, this beautiful trellis that my friend Monica, she gifted to me. Thank you, Monty Mons. She's such an awesome friend. Check her out. I'll actually link her website down below. She sells plants now if you live in the San Fran, Cali, Bay Area. This is my Hoya Macrophylla Variegata. I love this plant so much. It's beautiful. It's I'm still figuring out its desires, what it wants, but I get new growth, you know. I get new growth and then sometimes the new growth will die and I'm like, why would you do this? Like this one was like new growth that like dried up right here. And figuring it out, it's been in my collection for like eight months now. We're figuring each other out, you know. <laughs> Okay, but she's doing good. She's doing good. The next Hoya is my Hoya Serpents. And you've seen this baby. It is trellis on my handmade copper trellis. I actually make and I sell these. So if you're interested, just send me an email at houseplant at gmail.com. If you're interested to purchase this, they're handmade mini trellises and I love them so much. The next one is my Hoya. I forgot what this is. Hoya Curtsii. This is my Hoya Curtsii. This one I have to reevaluate it because some parts of it is looking a little ha unhappy and I think it's because of where it's living. So I'm gonna have to like really rehydrate this plant because it's looking a little thirsty at some parts like I mentioned. But happy, beautiful nonetheless but I gotta keep an eye out on this baby. So those were all my free range Hoyas, funny enough. What I'm gonna show you now are my dying Hoyas in my collection. Uh, I know, I gotta keep it real with you. <laughs> it's reality. So this was a successfully failed cutting of that Hoya Macrophyllus Splash. I don't know what happened. I think I un overwatered it one day and it just drowned. So this <laughs> is getting tossed out. The next one is actually a Hoya Weyerii Variegata that my friend Monica, she gifted to me. I don't know what happened. I actually do know what happened. It got root rot from this whole... S <sighs> I regret how this happened, why this happened. But this was a Hoya Weyerii Variegata that is no longer you know living the next one is actually the Hoya Hanhai that I traded for that came in a fucking gasp box with nothing no padding no wrapping in the winter with broken freaking foliage this plant was not meant to be it's done it's been done it's been dried and I'm ah! <laughs> those are all of the Hoyas that are dead in my collection. We're going to finally get into my Hoya cage. Those are the last Hoyas in my collection. This is my beautiful Hoya cage. I absolutely love this so much. I have a Hoya cage. I also have a Pothos cage. I have a small philodendron cage. I just love cages. They're awesome. Get your cage. So I have not opened or taken up plants from this cage in so long, but Let's get into it, right? Ugh. The first Hoya. I'm gonna do my best not to damage the plants as I'm pulling them out because they're so intertwined into the other. 
This first one is my Hoya Puba Calyx Splash, I think. It's beautiful. Love it. This next one is the Hoya, the Sweetheart Hoya, Hoya Carry Eye. Beautiful. Love it also. This is a Hoya Chelsea. This one was actually a gifted one from a purchase that was a fail of the original compacta series I was telling you about. This was a bonus one that the seller added. This one is a Hoya Crinkolate that was also gifted to me by Jackie. The individual I told you that gifted me the Compacta Variegata and the Obovada. She also gifted me a Crinkle 8. So this is the Crinkle 8. Super thirsty. All of these Hoyas, as you can see, are mad dry. They're all going to get soaked today. This next Hoya is a Hoya Carnosa with a lot of fungus. Fungus? Issues? Um, I'm going to inspect the leaves. It definitely is a watering issue. My fault, always, obviously. But this is the next one, my Hoya Carnosa. Alright, y'all. This is the last and final Hoya. Uh, I was sold this as a Hoya Parasitica, but I think this is another Hoya Carnosa. This was a bonus plant when I purchased my Hoya Rotundiflora from the seller. So, that is it. I cannot believe I made it through this video. This video is so long overdue. I've been wanting to make my Hoya connection for so long now. And I'm happy I finally got through it for a while now where if you can't survive, I'm not going to replace you because I just realized maybe it's the plant. <laughs> maybe it's not me. Maybe it's you. And because everybody else is chilling and you, you want to be fussy, then go ahead. Go ahead, baby love. Go do your thing, all right? All right, baby love, Lisa. Okay. <laughs> Thank you again, my Salty Pecans, for watching my entire Hoya collection. Wow. I need to do a count of how many Hoyas I have, okay? So if you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Share it. Share, share, share. Share it on your Facebook. Share it on your Instagram. Share it on your Tumblr. Share it on your TikTok. Share it on your Weibo. I don't know. Share this video because that is how... You know, it helps bring more eyes to my page. And again, we have a goal of 10,000 subscribers. So we are we're very close. We are very close. We're halfway there. Halfway there. More than halfway there. Okay. Subscribe if you aren't already. Join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here. Become a Saucy Pecans. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye.